At the D23 Expo, a four-day-long convention for everything Disney, fans had a rare opportunity to gaze into the future of their favorite studio. Dick Cook, the chairman of Walt Disney Studios, outlined the upcoming slate to an ecstatic audience and made a special surprise announcement to the fan. It's a brand new label for the Walt Disney Studios, and we're calling it Disney Double Dare You. You know, these are the people who, they're avid fans, they love Disney, they always are the first in line, and I think it's just only appropriate that they be the first ones to, to see so much of what we've got coming up. The films Cook previewed are sure to become Disney classics, including Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, with Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter. You're terribly late, you know, you naughty. A Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey, Jerry Bruckheimer's The Sorcerer's Apprentice starring Nicolas Cage, as well as Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and Tron Legacy. I think what makes a classic Disney movie is great storytelling, great artistry with fantastic execution. And today we're going to be previewing a lot of films that we have coming up for 2010, 2011, and then even farther out from movies that won't be coming out until 2013. As a special surprise for the Disney fans, some of the studio's marquee names appeared alongside Dick Cook, Nicolas Cage, John Travolta, Miley Cyrus, Jerry Bruckheimer, directors Tim Burton and Robert Zemeckis, and even Captain Jack Sparrow made a swaggering appearance on stage. Captain Jack! Yes. <laughs> D23 will continue at the Anaheim Convention Center through September 13th. So tell me about the fan reaction. We can hear it back here. Tell me about the fan uh, well, reaction. Well, that, you know, that just makes everything feel good. You know, I, I'm so happy that they're happy, and, and, and it makes me happy. So that's where it's at. This is the happiest place on earth, and that's just keeping in that in the fun zone. Faith in the movie. I always felt that it had the right combination of elements that would excite people and excite families, that would give them something to look forward to. Um, so I'm just pleased to see it come true. Yeah, to see it starting to it's starting to um, starting to cook a little bit. I'm starting to feel it. There's a little electricity happening. It it is literally like a big family, and I include myself in that group. I feel I am I am a Disney fan. I'm a son of Walt. I have been ever since I was a, a, a child, and uh, I, I want to keep being a part of it and being a part of that that group because these people care about I think what's right, you know, and and they want to make people happy and it keeps coming back to that happiness. Well I think it's really terrific when you can bring the people who love what Disney does and bring them into a, you know into the inside and get a look at what's coming up uh, in the future and especially coming up uh, this year and next year so I think it's uh, they get a sneak peek at, at what uh, what will excite them all year long. Oh, well, they seem very, you know, interested, enthusiastic uh, group of people. That's really nice, you know, it's always nice, especially when still not finished with the film, to get a, you know, positive response is great. Well, we showed um, what we call a sizzle reel, which is sort of a, uh, it, you know, it takes a concept art and interviews of the, of the cast and the crew and uh, sort of uh, just gives a taste of the movie. And then we showed, we pre, uh, premiered, our brand new uh, uh, Christmas Carol trailer in 3D. Great. Any other announcements? Well, they also announced just now uh, that we're making uh, Yellow Submarine. Yeah. And what was the fan reaction like? Uh, it was very good. It was very huge. It was uh, it was very positive. You know, yes. I mean, I you know, I I have a uh, wonderful history with Disney, having done Roger Rabbit, and you know, Disney is in the forefront of. 3D and digital cinema, and in the tradition of Walt Disney, um, the company uh, continues to be uh, the most innovative in new technologies, and, and what we do at Image Movers Digital is performance capture, which is a brand new technology, and you know, Disney is right on board with that.
Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to day number two of D23 Expo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robert Zemeckis. Thank you, Nick. So, John, you know, you and I have had seven movies, and all seven have been big hits. And I know there are a lot of folks here, but if it's all right with you, I'd like to do about seven or eight more. Hey, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm, um, I've always uh, appreciated the audience's love for me, and uh, I thank you. And I must tell you, you were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Just yeah. fantastic. <laughs> so I, I have to ask you, though, so this whole acting thing, would you, uh, you want to do some more? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was fun. I'm sure it was. Okay, well, we'll have to stuff, and we'll find you about a 25-picture deal right outside. <laughs> that'll be about it. <laughs> what, what's amazing to you so complicated? Well, I mean... <laughs> you came and said Disney, Alice in Wonderland in 3D. It sounded really trippy and great. So it just sounded <laughs> like all the elements were there to, to try to try to make it a good version of it. Marching to someday you'll find it the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers. gentlemen, Miley Cyrus. This is great. We're, we're here at D23, huh? Oh, it's it's wonderful. Everyone mm. is here. The whole group. Including moi. That's right. The whole group, including Miss Piggy. It's incredible. Oh, there's Kelly Preston. Mm. W. D. 